Good day, mates. This is Bobby Gannon Who here. Welcome to the finale, aka episode 20 of Let's Play Tide 2 Bush Rescue. In this episode, we finally cleaned up with all the collectibles in the entire game. And now it's time for the final level mission where in the game. But basically, first we gotta get our way to boss cast first. Yeah, there's tons of enemies in the enemy, and we get an exclusive new mech for this final level. It's the Shadow Bunya, which is basically a super pa pow more powerful, bigger, black version of the regular Weg mech. Which which makes their next life very jealous. Look at my leg, I built it all myself. Hey guys, look at this cool cool leg, I just got to go out. Oh, I'll screw off, Todd. <laughs> But yeah, this should be breeze. Just punch everything that's in your way, and don't forget there is there is one cog in this final level that we need to get. But it's not gonna be here for quite a while, so it's good. So go over here, and oh boy. Okay, so we got a bit of a boss last year. We got to fight against the first and second bosses here again. Well, not the third one, but some reason Floppy refuses to fight it in, so... Yeah, basically just do the same way you did last time, just... Um... Just fire... Shut up! Just fire all this guy's weak spots, and of course, seeing us with the second boss, so... There goes him down. Huh, just like I said, now this guy wants to fight. Which Again, just gotta wait for where I tell you for this weak spot again. Thank you. <laughs> Hanky is not gonna drag out as long as the actual, actual boss fight, so. I just think a double jump and hold in the air, as this thing can't be o o powered already. So come on, reassemble. 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 Yeah, we're getting pretty uh, impatient. Okay, now war at me. War at me, thank you. There we go. Okay, now with that boss wash out of the way, so we can now move on. Yeah, so. Yeah. And also we got this sort of laser beam here, because of course, why not? Just get you in through here, punch all you in the face. Don't need to take care of the image, just need to get to the end really. So oh double jump here again to need this a breeze. Yeah, Shadow and Sly will help you in their own unique bunyips too. <laughs> so, I guess that's that. You know, I could be fine with all my own. I don't, I don't care. I don't b bother with it. And. Oh, I see. The, I know there's something under there. And I can't see a drop down. There we go. Oh, there is nothing down here. Oh come on, I'm in the power place to at least put some crates here. What is what well, that's an absolute shame. Okay, here in this lava area here, this is actually where the last cog is. Can't exactly see where it is though, so Suppose I'm just gonna look around and see where that last cog is. And there it is. 
And there goes every single platinum cog in the entire game, and I get nothing for it. Ugh. Well, I wasn't playing the PC port anyway. But anyways, there we go, that's all the cogs gone in, now just head over straight directly to boss cast and self, I guess. Or I can just beat up these robots. I don't really need to do this unless I want the opals. Oh, Kamehameha! <laughs> I love that you can actually attack the team and you're like, Hey Ty, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> so you're in the way. Alright, so we're nearing the end here. Just gotta walk all the way over to here. Da -da. Jump up here. Swim out the cow for some reason. You can all get out of the way. And yeah. Oh my, it's like someone has a crush. <laughs> oh, you just, you just had to throw a lot into it. Love, love into it, whatever. Final boss time. Alright, here we go, fighting against boss Kaz again. So here in the first phase of the fight, you just want to complete noise nanobots here and you want to go directly out to boss Kaz himself because Wait, why would you bother with those guys at back? Just Keep trying firing with this with your lasers, just keep jumping up and down and hopefully you get a hit like that. And basically just keep doing that and of course while avoiding the stupid mana boss will constantly chase you down. There you go. So who do you think you are? Dr. Cortex or Dr. Robotnik? <laughs> you can always attack with your laser too, which is definitely easier, but you stay in one place while in in the back and yeah, that's what happens. The now boss will drag you in and you start to take damage, which is not good. So because that I decided to kill myself. <laughs> uh but by doing that, the boss fight basically reset, so Oh it doesn't matter, let's just do this again anyway. Uh, come back here, you stupid ostrich. Oh, come on. Come on! If only I could lock on 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 train or something. My crew, I can't have my boomerang, so why can't I have my stupid mech? Come back here. Can I just punch you to death? Can I just beat you up? There we go. Like, get back here. Come on. Stop running away like a pussy. There you go, going over here, and then get back here. Don't you laugh at me. There you go, first place complete. Okay, and now boss have four rounds, and they just met, and now we can't exactly fire it, so. We got second phase, we want to hit the floor without gaining the weight clearly. <sighs> wow, dead again. 
Oh, I actually just really do need time boss way over again, just this phase. So make sure he hits the ground. And I clearly do not know what to do here. <laughs> the way if you don't fall on actually fall here is actually a way to get back up here. And it's actually help pick us in case you get hurt, so that's uh, that's kind of them. Let's get up here. Ignore the noise. That noise is there. I can't help it. So basically, you need to show whenever he <coughs> hits the ground, you want to hit in the back, and that's where you do the course damage. There we go, like that. <coughs> Every now and then, he'll shoot his stupid spin attack, which does not help me whatsoever. You want to. Make him hit the ground with his fist, not to spin around like a goddamn idiot. Go. Give him a punch. No. Stop with the spinning. No. Hit the ground. Don't spin around. You're not Crash Bandicoot. <sighs> we go. I think one more hit should end the second phase. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, just one more. There we go. It's not doing a stupid spinning attack anymore. Okay, second phase done. Okay, now it's got a bunch of these golden rock things that will keep throwing at me. So you want to keep moving around and make sure it doesn't get hit by them. And once all those things go away, you just want to take a hit on them and sweep that process really. So, yeah. Oh god, this is not going to be good. Yes, yeah, probably she just got to in and punch you because she can do punching. You can just, uh, yeah. Uh. Come on, there we go. So see that works. Okay, punching again. There we go. Okay, is he trying to... Okay, there we go. Beating up again. Okay. Okay, now it's most destroyed. Now it's just one of the gloonies. Time to beat up. And there you go. Time to push rescue is complete.
Yeah, yeah, I'll see you next game, boss cast. So there you go. That's tied to Bush Rescue. We defeat boss cast again. Tie slide slash just got three nanos. You know, tied it all work really. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, man, this game. I'll stick to what I say. I think Taiwan is a much better game than this one. I just prefer 3D collect ones over. I don't know. This game clearly try to go for sort of more open world mission based game, but clearly, clearly it was too much. They, they get how the the open world was just way too big and open, and you could easily get lost in something like. The game, this game overall is just too bloated for its own good, which tons of crap to collect. Just. With a stupid 4B, just flat out padding the, the whole game, just trying to get from mission to mission. It's just. God, this game was just padded, padded, padded. It's bloated for its own, too much bloat for its own good. And the game does quite a terrible job of things you. There's a terrible job of exactly what you need to do in some missions, really, like that Mount Burnston where I didn't know you can go under lava or. I don't know, in you know, those helicopter saw we missions where I didn't really exactly tell you where to go, what your objective was. So, this game is definitely very, very, very flawed. Very flawed indeed. Taiwan is much more superior to this game and really, really worries me what they're gonna do in Tai because. What I heard of Tie 3 is honestly not very good. I heard it's probably the worst tie game out of the four. Would that be my XLP? Probably not. I honestly am really tired from Tie 2, so. I'm going to do Tie 3 for a while. I mean, but for Christ's sake, Tie 3 wasn't even released in Europe at all. Us Europeans never get a chance to play Tie 3 until it's never Steam port. Remaster came out, which is probably what I'm gonna be play, playing Tai Free on with Steam. Either that or Dolphin Emulator. I don't know. No, I'll have to figure out later. Oh, yeah, that's Tai 2. Either this will, of course, be another 100% cutscene, probably teasing the next game a bit, which is a bit ironic since. Since we now got Tie 3 in Europe, you know, this game was this was basically been teasing the next again that we never got in the first place, so oh pff, sorry. Oh yeah, music uh, Yeah, you know, I say music was just as good as the last game. Again, not amazing, but it's not Telly, but there's some good gems here, but I do I do admit with there's some poor stuff where there was. Mm. So yeah, I'm honestly not looking forward to Tie 3, honestly. I, ju I just hope Tie 3 is not going to be much of a drag as Tie 2 is, honestly. In the God's sake, even the to even the tutorial was, had a big, even the tutorial had a big plan since they decided to put in a stupid turf section in the tutorial. I uh, later couldn't be able to get through uh, until I had to look like what you supposed to do. It's just. It was just a bunch of bad game. bad design choices here, and it bows me. I just hope to God they fix all the problems that Tie 2 has of fixing up for Tie 3, because Tie 3 just looks, looks like it's going to be. do the same open world formula like Tie 2 did. And I just hope they improve, improve and stream on that tie to just screwed up. So, uh, honestly, this this game is fine, but honestly, I don't think I'll going to revisit this this game at all that much. If I do, I'll definitely not be 100% this game ever again. This was a chore to 100%. Because it doesn't take exactly what I do to 100%. I mean, there's Cyrus in this game. Game, but it looks show you on your mission menu thing. It's just really stupid. Really, really stupid. 
And also even how to display the quests here on each individual panel of, t of town here is just pretty boring long draw now. I bet the reason why they did this so I got a tie there and we'll do his idol animations. <laughs> okay, they just the quest was just fine type and why do like this in title oh, whatever. Uh so yeah. I mean and yeah, and I mean not measure. There's also Tie Four, which is just a a two D a two D platformer. Because I guess nowadays, Chrome Studios, Chrome Studios don't really have much more budgets than they used to now. And of course, there's also the GBA versions with Tie Two and Three. Yep, they exist too. Uh, I wonder how that gonna be like. So yeah. Screw you, EA. It's all your fault. I don't know. Well, yeah. Taiwan is much better than Tai 2. Tai 2 just had a, a butler plus, like, did nothing that cause a good game. I don't know. It's teetering on the edge of a bad game, but there are definitely some good things, great ideas in here that very connect for a good game, but. Oh, well, this game was just a bit of a mess, honestly. Just. God. So yeah, next Thai game I'll be doing will either be the GPA version of Thai 2 or well Thai 3 console one. I don't know. So I don't know what else to say. Are these credits are going to be a hundred percent cutscene thing? Teasing the next game, and of course the, there's a bonus episode of course. So. Yeah, I think I said everything I want to say, so this is Morgan and Who. I like watch the West of Quits and of course the hundred percent teaser thing for the next game. And yeah, I'll see you either from the bonus episode or from the next let's play. So I'll see you later guys. Bye bye.
Going. We are going 